Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking you along with me for a what I eat in a day. Keep watching. As soon as I wake up, the first thing I reach for is my water bottle. I like to enjoy this before breakfast and will typically wait till have breakfast till about 8 or 9 a.m. This morning, I had the chance to get a workout in before all of my busy work meetings started for the day and I typically do prep my smoothies. If you follow me on Instagram, I typically prep my smoothies the night before, but for the purpose of this video, I wanted to go ahead and make my smoothie in real time with you all so you can see what I'm putting in it. Because I did just get in a workout, this is my post-workout smoothie. I really like to pack this with lots of nutrition, fiber, protein, and a really fun energy boost to keep me going through the day. Now in this smoothie, I have added two cups of spinach, which by the way, I know I'm making a mess. This day is so busy for me, so please forgive how flustered my hands looking, sis. Your girl has a small window behind um, or between her meetings today. So I added two cups of raw spinach, half of a medium banana. And this banana wasn't frozen, but frozen bananas really do add that thickness to your smoothie. I'm also going to add in half a cup of frozen blueberries two scoops of chocolate protein. I'm using the Tone It Up brand. I also like the Garden of Life brand. Um, both are very natural and I love that they're both available at Target. I'm also adding two tablespoons of raw cacao. And then just to kind of give me that pick me up that I need after my workout and before I go into my meetings, I'm adding one packet of instant coffee. I just grabbed the packet singles from the Starbucks brand that are available at my local grocer called HEB. And then I'm adding two cups of unsweetened almond milk. For those of you that have asked me in the comments, what is my pre-workout before a workout? I do not take a pre-workout. I do enjoy green tea in the morning or herbal tea in the morning. But if I drink a smoothie like this before a workout and maybe I'm doing a workout in the afternoon, sometimes it's fun to add a little bit of the instant coffee grounds or organic cacao, but I'm not like the type of person that can drink coffee every day without getting the shakes. And it's as easy as that. I usually put her in a cute little mason jar with some type of cap and take it on the go. But today I'm super swamped, so I actually have to go straight to my video call. And I know, sis, I'm not looking cute, but I have to go straight into this call in rare form. It's an earlier morning call and drink this on the go. What I love about it is you don't have to worry about crunching and crackalacking while you're on video. It's easy enough to drink out of a straw and it's super nutrient dense. So this smoothie like super filled me up and after getting in my shower, getting ready to pop on other videos, I really just drank as much water as I could and I feel so good right now. Like I just feel so light and hydrated and between the smoothie and the workout, I'm just feeling awesome. For lunch, I'm going to enjoy a Buddha bowl and all a Buddha bowl is is a fancy way of saying you're going to have like a grain and veggie focused lunch in a bowl, okay? And mine isn't even in a bowl, it's in a Tupperware, so there you are. Let's call it a Buddha tub. Um, I was feeling really inspired today by being homesick and flavors from Hawaii, so I decided to make a rainbow colored vegetable bowl with black beans, brown rice, a fried egg, and some really yummy seasoning on top. The easiest way to make Buddha bowls quickly while you're you know, doing this whole stay at home thing is to have your grain prepared, and that's what I did. I have my brown rice already cooked. I had baked kale already in a Tupperware as well as black beans. I have been loving making my black beans from scratch and feel like the most like serving up home goodness realness with making beans from dry like dried beans it's really not that impressive but i've been loving how fresh it tastes so i like to keep my base pre-cooked or pre-prepped to the side so i have a bunch of little tupperwares with like brown rice kale black beans and then i spend the rest of the time i have allotted whether it's like 10 minutes or so just to fry up a quick egg chop up some veggies and make this meal really come together I really love the way purple cabbage tastes. I am big on juicing purple cabbage. I haven't juiced it in a while, but I really had a taste for the purple cabbage crunch today. It reminds me so much of a lot of the dishes 
back home from Hawaii, but also like Asian dishes typically have a lot of purple cabbage. And I love the way it really helps with the glow. So I decided to chop up some purple cabbage. Um, I'm also going to add in some colorful peppers, red, orange, as well as a white onion. Um, the eggs are cooking as I'm chopping this all up, which is great. It really makes for an easy and quick meal, as easy and quick as it should be. And I will say that this particular meal is pretty like nutrient dense. I'm not trying to skimp on the calories or anything, uh, but that's the beauty with Buddha bowls. You can really build them up and make them fit around your goals. So for me, I wanted a lunch that was really dense with various nutrients protein and carbs as well as some fat in there and i'm getting that with this bowl um, while you all know i don't usually track calories i did want to capture it for you guys around this particular lunch so that you could see um, how much calories and protein are actually in this because you're probably looking at this and like oh she's just eating a little bowl of rice but this actually has almost 600 calories in it it's about 575 calories um, with almost 27 grams of protein and half of it is comprised of carbs and about 21% is comprised of healthy fats which we're getting from the eggs. So what I found works best for my body is not skimping on the carbohydrates and making sure that I'm really eating balanced meals throughout the day with plenty of protein, fats, and carbohydrates and that's what works best for my body. Now that my egg is cooked, I'm literally just going to kind of separate it off so it easily fits into my Tupperware. I'm going to place it on top of the rice and beans and take it back to my little desk to hop back on meetings because today is seriously crunch time for me. Yay, snack time! It's snack time, sis. So typically at this time, I like to enjoy something with collagen and something either warm or cold to kind of give me a little... A little flavor in your ear if you know what i mean so today i decided i wanted to make a cold golden milk or an iced golden milk should i say and the main ingredients i'll be using are ground turmeric cinnamon collagen and almond milk so i'm going to show you how i make that here with two mason jars is i add one cup of almond milk then i go ahead and add three teaspoons of ground turmeric a cute little shake of cinnamon one ancient nutrition collagen packet and then i go ahead and throw my little blender ball in there from my blender bottle you don't need to use this but it just helps break up the chunks if you don't want to use a blender and i shake it up all together if i wanted to make this a little bit sweeter i would add some honey as well but this is the quickest way to make a quick iced golden milk and i just pour this over my other mason jar which i have filled with ice and she's ready to go I'm pairing this delicious ice golden milk with a goji berry, zucchini, dark chocolate mini muffin that I made. I'm going to enjoy two of those with a tablespoon of peanut butter to give me a late afternoon energy boost. I happen to have baked those recently, but a handful of nuts or some fruit or some granola and Greek yogurt would have worked just fine as well. It was such a busy day today and I'm just feeling this deep need to be out in nature and also, Naya has been needing to get some of her energy out. She's been a little bit more fussy in the evening, so I'm taking her for a walk in hopes that the cool breeze will calm her down. Even though I feel like I've been eating all day long, that walk was a great way to help me pick up an appetite for dinner. It wasn't anything strenuous. It was literally a chill stroll, but I'm definitely ready for dinner. Today is really busy. I typically like to eat dinner by 6 p.m., but today i'm eating dinner just the way this day shook out closer to 8 p.m i'm throwing together a simple dinner by chopping up a raw sweet potato into small french fry like pieces tossing it in organic olive oil and some seasonings i like oregano and cumin putting that on some non-stick foil popping it into the oven and baking them Typically 20 to 30 minutes works perfectly. I like my sweet potato fries a little bit crispier, so you could probably do closer to 20 minutes, but I put these in for about 35 minutes. Uh, the walk definitely didn't work. She is a hyper baby zombie and she's chasing me everywhere, but she'd be trying to act so sweet and innocent when I put the camera on her. I already had some salmon fillets prepped, so I'm just gonna heat that up in the microwave. Then once the salmon is all heated up, I'm placing it on a bed of baby spinach, 
topping it with some mango pico de gallo I got from the store. Some salsa in a jar would work just fine too as long as it is pretty healthy ingredients. And then I'm placing my sweet potato fries to the side of all of this. It's pretty amazing how many sweet potato fries I can get out of one sweet potato. I always forget. This is what my dinner looks like tonight. With dinner, I always take one digestive enzyme and then typically about an hour before I go to bed, I will take one of my probiotics. So that's what I ate today on this busy day full of lots of work calls. I plan on making more episodes like this for you since I don't eat the exact same thing every day and I get a lot of questions on what types of foods that I eat. Thanks for watching.